There are very few things in Islam that are absolutely no disagreement. There's no scholarly debate about them. And there's, I mean, pretty much on the essentials of it, there's unanimity when it comes to things like alcohol and interest and innocent, you know, killing an innocent person and these kinds of basic essential wrongs. Then there's no dis difference of opinion among scholars. Hijab happens to be one of those things. Overwhelmingly, there is actually no disagreement among our scholars about what hijab means, what are its bare minimum requirements. There may be some technical discussion about, you know, uh, what's the bare minimum that constitutes a hijab, and there may be some kind of scholarly debate about that. But hijab itself, as an injunction, because it's in the Quran and it's very direct and explicit, and the Prophet ﷺ himself explained it in very explicit terms there's not really any kind of debate about whether or not it's an essential part of Islam and something required of women in Islam or not. It's that's, not a dubious matter. No, it's not unclear. It's not an unclear matter. It's, it hasn't been until maybe the last 50 years or something. But, I mean, for the vast majority of our history, nobody raised this issue. There's not a new madhab? No. <laughs> that uh, you know, has a different opinion on this? It's just, you know, uh, in order to come up with a new opinion on this, you basically have to say for most of Islam's history, people didn't know what they were talking about from the companions, first generation, second generation, all the way up until modern times, nobody knew what they were talking about. They were all a bunch of idiots. Nobody knew. I'm not obviously saying about them like this, but this is the opinion people have. They were back my, backwards. They were pre-modern. They didn't understand our context. Our situation has changed. Therefore, we have to look at these things in a new way, etc., etc. The first thing I want to share, at least in terms of my conviction and the conviction of essentially you know, uh, mainstream Muslims, is that these, they, these principles don't change. They are constants. But at the same time, the second conversation that has to be had in order to address the sister's problem is that people are complicated. And you have to know people's situations before you understand why they behave in a certain way. And it's not just about hijab. You know, the sister's confused. They're born Muslims, or Muslimas in this case. And they should know better, and they're not only not doing it, but they're arguing against it. But as a matter of fact, I've met Muslims who argue in favor of alcohol consumption, who argue very vehemently about not praying because they're already connected to God spiritually, etc., etc. I mean, it's not the only thing. This mentality among Muslims of, you would be shocked, how are you Muslim if you're saying these kinds of things? How can these two things coexist? This is not limited to this one problem. So we have to understand it in the context of a larger problem.